Good morning, folks. There is only one way to begin today, the return of solar flaring. An M-class eruption occurred on the southeastern quadrant where that new sunspot group is turning into face Earth. It is large and has delta-class magnetic interaction. This first flare did not produce a significant CME, but we'll have our eyes open for more from that group. Also turning into face Earth are massive plasma filaments you can see on the left side of the 304 angstrom shot here. We've got them coming in on the north as well, towering above the surface. The solar wind continues to calm and stabilize, and Earth's magnetic shield is calm and quiet at the moment. You'll remember that the exiting coronal holes are still part of that positive opening while red negative comes in behind it. You'll see it on the left side coming in in 211 angstroms here in a few seconds. And although the coronal hole quake factor is waning in the middle, the planetary sunspot and space weather factors are rising. No big quake since our last high earthquake watch index, but we'll be back there in a few days when the next coronal hole arrives. Quakewatch.net for details. Top story comes from Cassini. This is likely the last time any of us will see Dione in our lifetimes. Icy. Rocky. Beautiful. Got the article and photos linked for you below this video. Then, disaster near the equator as Papua New Guinea is going to be near zero domestic agri-production after a killer frost finished off the drought-stricken tropical zone. That brings us to our July Global Climate Report, one of the fairest and best reports I've seen, but the media doesn't seem to have gotten the memo. This is all you're going to see posted around the internet today, calling it the warmest July ever. Cherry picking and close call color grouping takes the truth away from a much more accurate representation of the hot and cold swings. And if you eliminate most of the El Nino effect, which is seen mostly on the water, it's looking darn close to 50-50, isn't it? Ah, c'est la vie. So, in that spirit, let me continue bringing word of these summer record cold temperatures sweeping across the United States. It wasn't just in the Rockies, but is now following the cell across the states. A climate extremes event as they broke heat records on the eastern side of the convergence. Twin typhoons, one taking on the Philippines and Taiwan, but both are heading up near Japan eventually. Hawaii, you could see this system shoot north for a quick visit. And Danny is a hurricane in the Atlantic, still slated to truck on west and likely make it to the Caribbean as a slightly weaker storm. We've got flood potential in the U.S. today where all that heat and moisture comes on shore. In Europe, we see large pressure cells in the north sending a convergence line right down that corridor once more. And down under, the convergence comes north, per usual, right up onto the southeast region there. Website members, last night's Deeper Look episode is just part one. A little longer discussion is coming soon. Also, if you haven't seen the lineup for this fall in Pittsburgh, it is incredible. Observing the Frontier comes to Pittsburgh in October, and also there's just nine days left to get the pre-registration discount for Phoenix in January. It's Friday, folks. Let's get it done this weekend. We've got your ground-level conditions today, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.